Apple RIM's much-anticipated debut in the Canadian tablet computer market arrived today with its launch of the BlackBerry Playbook. But as Adam Atkinson shows us, there weren't hordes of people lining up outside stores anxious to get their hands on one. There it is, the BlackBerry Playbook, Research in Motion's introduction to the tablet computer market. The Playbook launched in Canada today with less fanfare than when the second iPad launched three weeks ago. Apple has their Apple Store, so when you have one location to go pick up a place, that's why you see lineups, whereas in, the, in RIM's case, they've actually had pre-orders. Hoopla aside, the iPad 2's 9.7-inch screen dwarfs the Playbook's 7-inch viewer, but the BlackBerry tablet has other advantages. Browsing is uh, much more significant. It actually can do flash websites where the iPad cannot. It's a little bit more compact and sleek. It's a little sturdier. Uh, the actual processing power uh, is more significant. It's not as lethargic as the iPad. Apple and BlackBerry aren't the only players in the tablet market. Motorola has the Zoom and Samsung the Galaxy, and both are very capable tablet computers. The bottom line is this is good for the consumer because now what we have is a full suite of devices. Everything from the cheap, cheap, cheap $10 phone all the way up to the most sophisticated tablet. Price points are fairly similar. 16 gig playbook is $499. The iPad 2 is $20 more. At 32 gig, the Apple is still $20 more than the $599 playbook. The 32 gig Zoom and Galaxy are in the same price range as well. If you're looking at getting a tablet, do your research, come in and ask some questions. Uh, we know what we're doing and uh, you know we can make sure we get you in the right one that suits what you're looking for. The next versions of the iPad and Playbook are rumored to have cell phone or 4G technology. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News.